I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, I welcome to my channel. Kindly like and subscribe. Uh, so here is tutorial. I am gonna explain how you can extract data from uh, email. Like if your data is coming in specific format in email, and you want to extract it and put it into the Excel file. Here I am gonna explain how you can do it. So for example, let's say you uh, create new flow with trigger when email arrives. Okay, uh, when email arrives, like whenever email arrives, trigger this flow. Uh, let me switch to the classic uh, designer. So let me add subject. Okay, so let's say your email is like name. Uh, then let's say address and then phone number. Okay, let's say your email is like this and you want to extract name, address, and phone number. So let me add this. Okay, I sent email to myself to check uh, how it appear here. Uh, let me refresh it. As you can see here, email arrived and a flow got triggered. And if I go into compose, I will see this data here. As this is an HTML form, so first step, our first step will be to convert this HTML to plain text by using this action. So I'm gonna provide body to it and it will convert this uh, HTML from email to plain text. Like it will appear like this. Now let's say we want to extract name from it. I am gonna use compose, you can use uh, variable as well, it's up to you. Let's say I want name here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is basically, I am gonna use split. Split function is to split data into two parts based on specific uh, word. Let's say for example, I'm saying split this body based on name, okay? So I am gonna get two parts, one part before the name and second part after the name. Let me test it based on the previous run and you will see how it appear here. Okay, if I click here, I have two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. Now I need second part. So I'm gonna use last task function, which uh, give us the last part of uh, this split. Now I will have the second part of the split, which is name, but still now I have all the data with name, uh, with name as well. Like I will have data starting from here to here but I only want this name 
So what I'm going to do is basically I am going to use another split. Okay. And then I will split based on in line. Like as you can see here, I press the enter key or, or return key on the Mac and it added line here. So if I run this, now I will have two parts, one with the name and one with the, all the data after the name. Let me show you after running it. As you can see here, I have name and then part after name, but I want only the name part. So I am going to again use the function first, which will return the first value from here. And then with the first, I am going to use trim. Trim basically remove any extra spaces before or after text. So if I run it, now I only should get the test name like uh, this. I should only get a uh, test name in this compose. As you can see here, we only have the test name. So we uh, now we created this uh, expression. We just need to copy this and paste it here. Uh, like this is only uh, possible in the old designer. I don't know if it's uh, added to the new designer or not. So you need to click here, copy to clipboard, then go to clipboard and click on this. Okay. Uh, we want address. So and we want phone number as well. So I am going to add two of these, rename it to address. And then I also need to update the formula as well to trim based on address value. Like instead of name, I just put address here and it should work correctly. Now for the phone number, I need to do the same update the action name uh, so I understand uh, so I know what is happening here and also update the formula as well like instead of name I will put phone number okay let me recheck it sometime it did not get uh, updated now if I test this flow now I should have name in here address in here and phone number in here this can be used for any amount of data like let's say you have uh, more than address like say you have name first name last name uh, name address like as long as these parts remain same like first part then you can easily extract data from here so if i click address it shows test address if i click name it shows test name and if i click phone number it shows phone number okay uh, you can uh, use this uh, method for any email. I tested it for the simple one, but you can use it for the other one. And now you have all these values and you can uh, use uh, add row action. Like let's say you want to add this into the Excel file or you can use any other method. Like you can use it anywhere you want. Like now you have name, address, phone number. So you can easily use it anywhere you want. Thank you. In case you have any question or you don't understand any part, can you do let me know. Now let's say you want to add these extracted values into uh, Excel file. So for example, let's say I create Excel workbook a new Excel file. Okay, so let me Uh, give me a moment. So let's say I create name. Address and phone number. Column. So these three column, let's say you want to fill them whenever new email arrive with the extracted data. 
So first step, you need to create these columns and then using insert, insert table and select my table has headers. Okay. Now, as this is converted into table, uh, let's see if I go back to flow. Uh, uh, let me, okay, it got saved. So now let's say I go back to flow. In here, you need to search for a draw. Like whenever new email arrive, extract data from the email body and add row into table. Okay, so it will be test site and then your document library. And for the file, I need to select file by uh, manually selecting it. You can do it dynamically, but uh, I am going to select using I'm going to select manually now file is selected and if I click here a table should show your default name will be table one I think okay here it is table one when I click on it it will show all the column in table uh, without create inserting the table uh, you won't be able to do this so table is must for adding the row let's say for the name I want to add output of the name for address. I want to add output of the address and for the phone number. I want to add output of the phone number. So let me test it manually. And if I go back here, let's say I change this name to test name for Excel. I do the same for this and for the phone number. I keep this to let's say plus 92 and something like this so if i send email now email got sent and if i go to flow it will start running uh, let me check if i added subject correctly or not yeah i added the subject correctly now it should start running as you can see here, uh, flow is running. It takes just uh, a moment. Uh, it completed successfully. And if I go back here, as you can see here, it got filled. So whenever new email arrive, uh, another row get added and it keep getting added. Uh, this is how you can add the extracted data into Excel. You can do the same for the SharePoint list or if you want to save into text file, like uh, once you have data, you can do whatever you want with that, that data. Can you do let me know in case you have any questions or you are facing any issues or uh, something is not working for you. Thank you.